So, hello and welcome to another English video of mine. And today we'll be looking at my stereo setup. Now I actually have three stereo setups at the moment. I have a 1990s stereo setup that features 1990s Pioneer equipment with uh, some really cool wood grain um, sensory speakers that are probably from the late 80s. That setup technically isn't mine but uh, it's pretty awesome. I don't get to see that setup a lot. Then I have a secondary setup which is, consists of a JVC AK100 amplifier, the matching amplifier to the tape deck. However, that one is in black so it doesn't really match. Although, you know, now it won't match because this whole stereo setup is a mess anyway, but I prefer this Nico amp over the JVC one. And a uh, Universum CT2395 cassette deck. Um, it's a real kind of low end thingy, but it's actually pretty good. It's from an in-store brand from a store we had here in Germany. But uh, yeah, this is kind of the stereo setup that I get to be at the most. This setup more or less is just turned on. Once my eyes are open, this setup is turned on. <laughs> and once I go to bed, it gets turned off again. I use this setup a lot because I absolutely love music. I love listening to music. And uh, yeah, so... Let's get started with the components here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna sit down because, uh, yeah, I'm an old man. I have to sit down. So, this is kind of the main stereo setup. Now, the components I have for the longest time in here are these Nico components that I'll actually soon already have for a year, which is kind of actually incredible because I remember just getting them, them for my birthday, which will be coming up next month. So, yeah. I also got the matching tape deck for these, the uh, ND390 Mark II. The tape deck has worn out hands though, and uh, it really doesn't sound all that great. So, it's in store, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. In the same styling as these two components. Google it, it's just the ND390 Mark II. Oops, basically, like it's written right there on the amp, but here's a D where the A is. So, beautiful deck, but has issues. So, I don't use it. These components I have for a long time. These are really great components. Then, following after that, I got the tape deck, which is a JVC KD DSW 110. This tape deck, uh, I guess you can say a friend of mine, I guess you can say that, um, has this model too. And uh, so I decided to get it too. And then I annoyed my friend with this Ms. Wee having the same tech as him, uh, same tape deck as him all the time, and <laughs> that wasn't too great. But yeah, this is um, a low end tape deck. This again, this is lowest end stuff from the Nico catalog. This is the lowest end double tape deck from the JVC catalog of the time. And these two components are excellent for being low end. This thing is still pretty great, but I know better tape decks than this one, but it's pretty good. Then I got the CD player, which actually this is my father's CD player, but he stopped using it because the automatic door broke down on it, it didn't work anymore. And it turns out all the gears in there are really high quality gears, and then the gear for the door is made of this really cheap, brittle, yellow plastic. So, uh, yeah, but I got a new gear on the internet, they actually sell new gears for this. Look at that, it's working now. So that was... One of my successful repair attempts, actually my non-redneck repair attempts, because most repair attempts I did before the CD player were all redneck, so, for example, that VCR didn't work, it turns out the belt was slipping and I was too lazy to replace the belt, so I just uh, took some old, like, residue and just put it on the gear, uh, on the pulley where the belt goes over, and now, now it works. <laughs> so that's kind of redneck, but it works, and then this actually is a proper fix. And then I got this equalizer. It's a Kenwood ZE44. You don't really need an equalizer in your stereo setup, but I just kind of got it because I don't know. I kind of wanted to have an equalizer, now I do. And then here's a Dual fully automatic turntable system. This is one of these new record players. Like, we must have actually made several videos about how to upgrade these. I'm pretty happy with this one, so it didn't do anything, but I might get an elliptical stylus on here. 
Yeah. Does anyone know how to clean styluses or needles? Because you can see they get dusty really quickly, and I don't know how to clean that off. So, if anyone knows how to do that, it would be really appreciated if you would put that in the comment section. It's fully automatic. Bought it on Amazon, brand new. Still being made, of course. Pretty happy with it, but like I said, I might get a new stylus, because um, this one has a bit of distortion on it, and apparently getting a elliptical pickle stylus will fix that. So yeah, and then, last but not least, we actually have another component here. I got this in my holidays in the Netherlands. I absolutely love the Netherlands because they have Swift stores and we don't. Well, we do, but they aren't as great. They do sell electronics, but... Uh, yeah, the, the Swift store I went to in the Netherlands was quite a bit better than the ones we have. This one is pretty cool. I just love for the guy in the Swift store literally was like, Hey, do you want a tape to test the with? And I was like, yeah, so... <laughs> so that was really cool. This is Dolby, let me turn it on. It's a pretty nice deck. I will do a full video about this, and I've done full videos about the tape deck, the CD player, back when it wasn't working, the uh, tune on amp, I featured in a video um, of this whole stereo setup that those Nico components were fitting with, and I'm not going to do a video about the record player or the equalizer, because those are pretty simple devices, and the tape deck I'll still do a video about. Sorry for the mess. It's messy. <laughs> so yeah, here's my records, I've got quite a few, and here are some of my CDs, and uh, yeah, it's just a mess of tapes, it's just a mess. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's start with the tape deck. So, oh, <laughs> okay, that scared me. Equalizer set to tape, equalizer on, so let's... Uh, I fast forward that a bit and hit start. This is uh, another song. If you, if you want to know the song name, then ask me. I can provide it to you, but I don't know by now. So here's the equalizer. Actually, let me set it like that. Yeah. So you can hear that that there's a difference, I hope. This tape deck really sounds quite good. This tape was recorded on it. It doesn't sound too good on fabric tapes, there's not a lot of travel, but on chrome tapes, this deck sounds excellent. Like, this was recorded on here with no pre-equalization. It just sounds great. And then this deck works too, of course, because I had to record this on here. I think this one doesn't sound quite as good as this one. This one sounds a little bit, a little bit better. I can see the counter that worked there. Let me go on the reverse side. Here. And then it does have music scan. It's a bit noisy. This isn't supposed to be noisy like this, but it doesn't seem to be causing an issue. But they can see it fast forward. So, uh, yeah, that works. Again, it's a little bit noisy. It's not supposed to be noisy like that, but I don't know what's causing that, and it doesn't seem to be causing any other issues. So, yeah. That's a tape deck. Let's get on to the tuner. See if we can find some commercials. Probably not. And you can hear a guy talking. There's my antenna. I have an incredibly long cable running all the way over here. 
I played too much of this because it's copyrighted. But yeah, you can see it works. Phono, as I said here, that's the turntable. I'm gonna play um, Royas Royas by Desiris, a really good friends song. But I'm gonna play it at 33 RPM, the spread is a 45 RPM record, so hopefully the copyright police won't be jumping on us. So it's gonna sound a bit slow, but you have to live with that. Yeah, wave away, I guess. Sounds pretty good this record player, but on some records, like I said, that's a bit of distortion. There was a bit of demonstration of how the song is supposed to sound. I mean, yeah, that's Vapor Wave. <laughs> and it is an automatic return, too. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Now, I do have this, like, dual, um, 45 adapter, but this we, this is kind of, I just kind of found it. Um, it's not supposed to come with it, actually, on the back of the amp. There is the one this turntable came with. I can switch it back. So, yeah, here's a wowing, no wowing. A lot of cables. Uh, a lot of power leads. I kind of have a watt meter on here, kind of. See, an idle. The stereo server uses 34 watts doing nothing, so. <laughs> um, now let's play a CD. So, here's our external switch box. This switch is in between an external tape, the te Technics external tape deck, and this cable right here, and the CD player on my TV. So, we'll go to CD, and we'll just hit play. Switch that to aux. I hope this doesn't have copyrights. This is a CD I got the, um, on a carnival event. Just throw stuff at you, like candy and things, and they sue the CD. So that's where that is from. Uh. <laughs> CD player means it's a CD player. It sounds pretty good. I hope there's no copyright on here, but I have used the CD on my German video about the stereo setup, and it didn't seem to cause any issues. Yeah, it's a bit of. The stores and that's just for more of this zunk that's literally on this on the speakers and on this whole table. Some of the EQ sounds better. Yeah, this is all the stuff on there vibrating. It's not the speakers themselves. But yeah, it's deep here. Yeah. So yeah, here's the CD. Um, I might actually see if this actually is non-copyrighted, and if it's not copyrighted, then I'm going to upload this to YouTube. So now, let's demonstrate the TV. <laughs> so you can see that works. Um, yeah. Two is this cable, it also works. This is working at, you know, your tablet and an MP3 player or whatever. And uh, is this have hooked up in the tape deck? Let me see. So you can see that works too. And then last but not least, the Technics tape deck. With its really lovely view meter. I mean, that is just cool. Those we use, this is freaking cool. So yeah, that was a video about my stereo setup on mini DV tape. Yes, I'm recording this using a mini DV camcorder. So I'm hoping this video will turn out somewhat well because my capture device isn't the greatest. I actually am on my second capture device. The first one, the video just looked insanely awful, and there was this, this 
and it had issues with the vertical hold, so you couldn't even digitize via S tapes with it. With it, only mini DV. This new one, the image quality looks better. Um, there's no more hum in the audio. The audio sounds great, but the audio is out of sync a little bit with um, with the uh, video. But that's the only issue I have with this one. So. I think it's just gonna be like that, so sorry if the audio is a bit out of sync with the video, but yeah, I would say thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video about my stereo setup, and uh, yeah, so let's hope to see us again in a future video, and yeah, that's the end of the video, let's see, let us zoom on this beautiful VFD.